guess what? I am going to Melbourne. And while I'm here, I am going to do a few laps of the pool down at Urban Surf. So I'm actually down here for a speaking engagement, but uh, as usual, I will take the opportunity to also jump into the pool. Now, so there's two things I'm going to be working on today while I'm down here. First one is our monthly challenge is currently based around the bottom turn. So I'm going to be testing out some of the drills that we've given our subscribers to do around the bottom turn. And I'm also, I booked to go on a cruiser turn session because I want to take the Mutant. So if you've, if you've been following on me for a while, you'll know that I designed and made my own board. It performed like absolute shit out in the ocean, but I'm gonna take it in the pool in a cruiser turn session and see how it goes. So, let the fun begin. So I'll give you a quick look at the Board Choices Festival, 4-3 wetsuit, running the water's 14 degrees. This one, which is, oh, it's cracked then, this is my all-rounder. This is a quad, we have one of my favorites on my performance board. This is the one that I intend to ride. All-rounders, the board is a bit of a backup. I break this one, again, a notorious breaking this board. And then, there is the ugly board, the Mutant, which I'll be testing out in the cruiser turns. It, it looks horrible, it serves horrible, but who knows, it might go better in the wave pool. So it's 5'10", 20 and a half inches wide, and not a lot of rocker in it, round tail, based off of a couple of boards that I've ridden in the past that I liked. When combined, they don't surf very well. But I'll be interested to see how it goes in the wave pool. At least I don't care if this one ends up hitting the wall. I think they were standard. Every board has gloves and pink. I've bought gloves and I've bought booties. My intention is to not wear them if I can help it, but I've got three hours in the pool, so chances are I might need to run out and put the booties on at some point, because uh, I reckon my feet might get cold. Let's get waxed up, put the fins in. Yeah, I've got plenty of time, just taking it easy. Suited up, ready to go. Be honest, as I haven't worn this much rubber in quite a while. Three hours in this is going to be interesting. Anyway, it's going to have some fun. Barrel I'll be with that one. I've got babies. Woo! That is the most fun that I've had on the barrel setting. A couple of real good ones. Uh, can't wait to see the footage from the other angle. See how many I actually got into. That was super fun. Now, it's time to hit the intermediate session. Ha <laughs> 
no three hours. <laughs> like I've got so many waves already. Anyway, just uh, give go a bit of coaching. But imagine holding bike handlebars. She's first up in the next set. I'll see how she goes. I'll film it. The Mutant is out of retirement. Probably information that you don't need, but I needed a wee. And uh, I just realized it's really hard to take a 4-3 wetsuit off when it's wet and then put it back on again. But at least you know that I don't pee in the pool. I 100% cannot feel my my, uh, my little toe and the couple of ones next to it. This session is either going to go really well or it's just going to turn completely to shit uh, right in the Mutant. I don't know if I like it, it feels really stiff. Yeah, it feels really stiff this board. I'll give it another go though. The Mutant. On sale. No shit. Surf shots. <laughs> Just maybe I might have changed my mind. I like the Mutant. That was pretty fun. It was very fun in actual fact. Felt very uh, quick to turn. Very whizzy roundy is a good way to describe it. Okay, the end of the session. Cruiser turns, super fun. The Mutant. It's actually not as bad as I as I thought it was. However, after three hours in this pool at 14 degree water, I can't feel my toes. I feel like Lieutenant Dane from Forrest Gump. <laughs> Lieutenant Dane, you got no legs. Well, I feel like I've got no feet. Anyway, super fun. Stoked with that session and uh, pretty happy with the moot hunt. Riddle me this. My to I can't feel my toes, however, my ears are burning. So I got no explanation for that. My two big takeaways, first takeaway, is that you've got to kiss that knee. So I've got to drop, drop that knee down, which allows me a lot more movement. Uh, I found that more probably when I was in, in the advanced, when I was on the high performance board. Second thing that was a key takeaway for me was to look more up rather than out and across when I want to do that bottom turn. That I felt that was making me go a lot tighter. And I think the looking also made me go more on rail. There are three takeaways actually. And the third takeaway is never think that a board is down because the Mutant ended up being super fun. Anyway, I'm actually going to try and warm my toes up. Hope that you've enjoyed this little vlog. It'll be a bit of a weird one, uh, probably short, but lots of fun. Anyway, come and join us in the OnB community. We, uh, we, we run a monthly challenge for our subscribers, but the app is, is free to download to your phone. You get a bunch of free content. There's also access to all of the paid stuff there if you want to join the community. And this month we're working on the bottom turn. Check that out and I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to get one more toes up. <laughs> I interrupt this vlog to give you a special update. Since editing this video and looking at the footage, I have now decided that the Mutant is going to be retired. While I thought that it was super fun uh, and really skatey and I felt like I was doing lots of turns and stuff on it, on reviewing the footage, I've realised just how flat the Mutant was making me surf. I fell into the trap of the short, wide and very flat surfboard trap where you feel like you're ripping, but the reality is when you see it on video, you suck. So the Mutant is no more. It is now nothing more than a, a reminder that Ant should not shape surfboards. So my advice to you is don't make the same mistake I did. Instead, head over to ombi.co, download the app, and in there, there is a board course that will tell you everything that you need to know about buying the right surfboard. Uh, as a fly, do you see that fly? I nearly, oh, I nearly caught it. But anyway, there is, uh, head over to the app, download the app. We've got lots of free content, there's some other stuff, and there's a really cool course on how to choose the right board. It's good. It's better than good.
It's amazing. Download it.